What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be showing you how you can blur out sections of video or anything else for that matter using Premiere Pro. Start by adding your video or anything else to the timeline and creating it as you like. Next, right click in the project window, new item, adjustment layer. Make sure the width, height and FPS match your videos. Hit OK and drag and drop it to be the top item on your timeline stack. Then under the effects window, head to the search bar at the top and type in G-A-U-S-S. -S. Find the Gaussian blur and drag and drop it onto the adjustment layer. Then heading into the effect controls window and clicking on the adjustment layer will give us the options. Here you can see we have Gaussian blur as well as a bunch of options underneath it. Hit the circle, square or pen tool to draw out an area on the screen that you'd like to blur. Let's say we want to blur out the chat message here. You can start by roughly positioning it, then clicking the corners. So we'll hit the bottom left hand corner, hold shift and click the bottom right hand corner. Now we can drag them upwards and keep the dimensions of the rectangle. We can let go of shift, click the top right, top left while holding shift and we can drag it down. And we can select the two right hand ones using shift and we'll expand it across to cover the text. By holding shift, you make sure that it only works in one dimension. If you let go of shift, you can freely move it sideways as well. Holding shift makes it snap to angles. Once you have it to the right size, head back to the blurriness and set that to something quite high if you're going to want to get rid of it completely. Setting it to 30 is usually what I do. By hovering over the preview and pressing the tilde or grave key, we can make it full screen so you can see exactly what it will do. Obviously, if we click off the adjustment layer, the blue square gets removed and you can see what it will actually look like in the final video. Now, usually to animate this to move it around, you can animate the mask path, hit the clock next to it, move forwards in time, then simply click on the mask you want to adjust, so mask one, and drag it somewhere else. Then you'll see if we move through the video, it's automatically moving. Say we want to blur more than one section. We can do that by simply clicking the circle, square, or the pen tool. I'll demonstrate the pen tool now. Click on it, click on a point on the screen, then a second, then a third, and then you can go back to the start. Obviously you can add as many of these as you'd like. I'll just use this many for example. Later on by clicking at any point, you can add another dot, which you can then drag around. This will adjust it dynamically. So let's move our creation to the center, hit the animate button next to mask path, move it forwards, click on the mask title again, click somewhere, and then we'll get it to expand out sideways just to make this nice and obvious. So by going backwards and forwards through the video, you can see these points being animated. It animates points rather than the entire shape. So if we were to go mid animation and add another point, you'll see that it behaves quite strangely and that it tries to guess what to do. I'd recommend building out the entire shape first and then animating it later on. Otherwise you may end up with weird things like this. And that's it. You can also delete them by clicking on the title and pressing the delete key. By clicking inverted, you make sure that only the section that you created is highlighted. The rest of the screen will be blurred to what the settings you have over here are. You can of course also set horizontal and vertical blur, which blurs it in certain directions only. Here's vertical and here's horizontal and vertical. A nice even blur. Repeating edge pixels is quite useful if you don't want this black border around the video. Let's make the blur somewhere up in the hundreds. You can see a strong vignetting effect. By making sure that we have repeat edge pixels on, this vignette disappears and we're left with exactly the blur that we want. Adding these adjustment layers means that you can later on hide them, move them around, or just delete them entirely. It's much easier than having to click on these separate clips and it also works quite well if you have multiple clips that you'd like to blur. So anyways, that's it. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot. I hope this helps. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.